Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm here at the Pearl Review, my new YouTube channel. I'm doing a series on classics and personal favorites and just going over why I think they're special. So today I'd like to talk about Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Uh, this book is least needing an introduction out of all the books I'll ever review probably. Um, if you're a native English speaker or American, you know what this book is about. Uh, but in case if you don't, it is about its main character, Ishmael, an unsatisfied person who is maybe a little depressed. And he decides to return to the sea and to uh, become a whaler. Um, and he joins a ship, a whaling ship the, called the Pequod. And its captain Ahab convinces the whole ship um, to go after this one white sperm whale um, that's taken his leg. Uh, so this book is a long adventure novel. Um, it's a queer confessional, um, arguably. Um, it's, it's an experimental dark novel. It's a book that many serious readers and scholars consider the greatest American novel of all time. Uh, a lot of people who consider reading this book, I think, take a little time uh, in choosing so because it's, it's a really long book. Uh, but there are several interesting things about this book, uh, namely what I mentioned about its um, experimental, uh, masterful use of the English language. Um, there's a beautiful clip that I'm going to include about um, Melville describing uh, the whiteness of the whale. Um, this is part of um, every few chapters. He'll have this sort of playful, um, almost uh, essay about something about um, whaling. And this is one of my favorites. It, it mentions the horrific nature of the whale and, and why its whiteness is part of that. Is it that by its indefiniteness, it shadows forth the heartless voids and immensities of the universe, and thus stabs us from behind with the thought of annihilation when beholding the white depths of the Milky Way? Or is it that as in essence, whiteness is not so much a color as the visible absence of color, and at the same time, the concrete of all colors? Is it for these reasons? that there is such a dumb blankness full of meaning in a wide landscape of snows, a colorless all color of atheism from which we shrink. Pondering all this, the palsied universe lies before us a leper. And like willful travelers in Lapland who refuse to wear colored and coloring glasses upon their eyes, so the wretched infidel gazes himself blind at the monumental white shroud that wraps all the prospect around him. And of all these things, the albino whale was the symbol. Wonder ye then at the fiery hunt? This book is also interesting because it seems fairly progressive uh, for its time uh, and uh, a little daring. Um, Ishmael has a uh, strikes up a friendship with Queequeg, who is um, a prince who is from an exotic island and he has tattoos all over his face and um, quite soon into the novel it seems like they have this um, possibly homosexual relationship between the two of them and um, it's it's not delved into too deeply but you know you find pretty early on that Ishmael is an outsider um, he is a fascinating narrator. Um, he's, he's curious. He, he goes in roundabout ways of thinking of things and, and telling stories. Um, and that makes the book even larger in scope. Another great thing about this book is Ahab himself. Like if you want to get to like Shakespearean level, like um, villain, <laughs> Ahab is it. He is um, this uh, charismatic but um, frightening character that just seems to um, have like doom <laughs> written all over him. And he employs these um, secret 
um, henchmen that uh, eventually, you know, come out maybe a third way into the book. And they seem to be, you know, um, these characters that are in, in reality devils. Uh, this, this book has this sort of wickedness to it and um, this irresistible pull to damnation and destruction. Uh, and <laughs> it's really cool. Um, there, there's something so dark and, and evil about Ahab and um, his wanting to strike down this whale. Um, Ahab is this character that I think at one point said that he would strike the sun if it offended him. Uh, and there's <laughs> something so bravely um, just egotistical and uh, this, this like, I, I guess like understandable like wanting to be like a god. And he just goes for it. Uh, and the balance between him and Ahab, uh, Ishmael and Ahab is interesting because Ishmael is just this uh, playful person that is, uh, you know, wants to see the world and is intellectual and, and is kind of this, has this otherness to him. While Ahab is monomaniacal, all he can think about is this whale. Um, and there's, yeah, there's this balance between the two. Um, this book is full of symbolism and metaphor. Um, it's, it's a book that many authors love because there's just so much in it to return to, to analyze. Um, the Pequod is sometimes thought to be, you know, the United States uh, on its way to the Civil War. There's lots of uh, different characters that might be allegorical. Um, the diversity of the staff, or of the uh, crew, excuse me, uh, of the Pequod is also um, refreshing. Melville actually did, um, you know, was employed as a whaler uh, for, for many years. And so if you look into his other writing, there's, there's some nonfiction novels that he wrote. Um, and so a lot of his writing does come from experience. Um, the, the story of Moby Dick is actually um, sort of grafted a little bit from um, a true event, um, but all in all, it's a work of mastery. I will say that while I find this book irresistible, while um, it is a challenging read, but it's something that personally I think that it's one of those books that once you read it, you know, it doesn't leave you you know I every fall I feel like I want to return to um, the ship and rediscover Ahab and Ishmael and Queequeg um, but I will say that a lot of people find this book very frustrating it can be very slow the um, writing is very dense um, it's a it's a challenging read and you yourself will have to figure out whether you really want to read it but it is a great thing to try to read. So I recommend you try and do it. And if you have read it, uh, if you want to share your thoughts on the book, um, and thanks so much for listening.